How are you doing today? Follow the channel, give us a like, and share your thoughts in the comments section below. Which of the special features do you intend to watch today? And while you're typing, we'll go on to the next step. To get things rolling, let's put the show on the stage. It appears that Rafael Varon has suffered an injury. He runs the risk of not making it to the World Cup if Chelsea beats him in the Premier League match. Under Pep's leadership, Manchester City ended their season in the Premier League with a total of 600 goals scored. For the first time since 1996, Nottingham Forest was victorious over Liverpool. At Napolini, Chuck Vatia will be compensated monetarily for his work. The amount of culture is growing, Napolini 24 reports. The soccer team known as Manchester United has arrived in Bayer. Leverkusen is back. Jeremy is putting Pong in a box. Karen Benzema did not attend the clash tonight. Because of the exhaustion of the muscles, the Football Association of England chose not to examine the English club's comment on Manchester City, despite the fact that it was interpreted as having a xenophobic tone. AC Milan has every intention of keeping their half of the deal with Stefan Appiol as the head coach until the year 2025. Masuta, a former member of the Japan International Kudo team, passed away in a sad accident at the age of 32 after undergoing brain surgery in October, during which he was diagnosed with hydrocephalus. The number of assists provided by one player to another that Messi has provided to Mbappe with PSG in Liga 1 in 2022-2023 is the highest total possible. Messi has provided Mbappe with six assists. Rennes is a member of one of... Rennes is a... Rennes is a member of one of the top five leagues in Europe. Confirmation of the new contract with Matilda Lava Meyer, which will remain in effect until 2027. There is a possibility that Marcella will relocate to the MLS location. Don Ballon of the Los Angeles Galaxy informs Frankie Yang that he plans to obtain all of the money that Barcelona owes him in accordance with the terms of his contract until the year 2026 and that the club has refused to sign him. A wage cut, Latia recognised it as being familiar in addition, Lucas Boy to serve as a replacement for the Cherry Marbley that was injured. A £30 fine is going to be imposed on Aston Villa if a million euro buyout cluster sporting event takes place and the Villa managed to earn a point for Ruben Omarim as head coach. Then the scenario described above will take place. Shulk 04, Timothy Kolachuk as defender has been brought on since it was revealed. PSG is keeping an eye on AC Milan defender Pierre Kalulu because they believe he is a more financially feasible target than the Milan Grenier. The former head coach of Germany, Christoph Dome, has been informed that he has lung cancer. Because of his family obligations, Yusufa Mokoko has not yet committed to extending his current deal with Marisha Dortmund. Manchester United has expressed interest in signing Hanakchel Hanaglu while he is playing for Newcastle, Kelsia Marcata notes. Before the start of La Liga match week 11 clashes with Sevilla, Karim Benzema gave fans at the Santiago Barnabal his Ballon d'Or to show his appreciation for their support. Erling Haaland finished his time with Guardiola having scored 22 goals while making 15 appearances. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who did the same thing in 46 games, was the previous player to achieve this feat. It's possible that Skriniar will sign with Barcelona in January. According to Culture Mercato, Real Madrid has the option to renew their contract with Marco Asensio and they are currently in extension talks with him. When the World Cup is over, the position of Gonzalo Higuain might be filled by Cristiano Ronaldo, who would then sign a deal with Inter Miami. The young man, Frankie, might advance his career by moving to Liverpool during the upcoming winter transfer window. An individual who is a supporter of French Marseille has been charged with attempted murder for firing in his chest rocket, which caused a German fan at the stadium to have significant injuries to his neck. According to Johnny Infantino, the president of FIFA, they just introduced a new reform with the intention of acquiring more control over transfers, and the rules governing this reform are scheduled to take effect on November 16th, 2022. The position of head coach for Northern Ireland has been terminated for Jan Barklow. Luka Modric scored a goal to celebrate winning 453mm. The response from Jose Mourinho was in the form of a joke regarding how he plans to put an end to Richard Cartel's activities. Should he get within range, I will make an effort to kick him. Yesterday's action in the major leagues of Europe featured, among other things, a number of games that were really exciting. You are now looking at the most recent results. Now we will discuss the primary requirements of the release. This season in the Premier League, Liverpool does not appear capable of winning on the road at any point. This time, the Rats were defeated by Nottingham Forest by a score of 1 million to 1. 
Man's City was clearly superior to Brighton 31 in every way. Because to Haaland's brazen, Broner was able to land an accurate shot. Both Chelsea and Manchester scored in the final minutes of the game, resulting in a 1-1 tie that saw both teams share the points. Amira retaliated to Giorgio's golden kick from the penalty spot by scoring a beautiful header of her own. As for the Bundesliga, our Balliptic bounced back from falling behind 3-0, both throughout the match and in the game played against Augsburg in a jar. Signal Dunner Park was ecstatic to witness Dortmund's crashing victory over Stuttgart, which resulted in five goals to none scored by the visitors. In Italy, AC Milan comfortably defeated Manza, an amazing victory against Thorentina with a score of 3-4, scoring the last gasp winner in at a time. As for Spain, Real Madrid's domination against Sevilla was ensured by a 3-1 victory thanks to goals from Modric, Vasquez and Valverde. In Barcelona, Mauricio Pacchettino was observed enjoying the action at the Camp Nou Stadium. Earlier this week, there was a triumph over Villarreal by the score of 3-0. The Argentine was extended an invitation to watch the game from the presidential box at the Blograna. He has not been a member of any team since the Paris and German board agreed to terminate the coach in July. The situation has been ongoing. Pacino arrived to watch the game precisely at Barcelona's worst moment, which was so far under Chubby after the defeat in the Classical and the near elimination from the Champions League. Xavi admitted that he may be replaced by another coach if the team fail, but it is clear that Pacchettino is not a frontrunner for the job. Thomas Dutchill, who is affiliated with UCL, would be a primary target. Ten Hag was successful in winning over Cristiano and apologising to his teammates for his behaviour as well as his dramatic exit into the locker room. Now the manager of Manchester United wants this to happen in front of the entire team, not just him and his staff. If this happens, Ronaldo will have a chance to return to the first team next week. Prior to this, Manchester United were prepared to part ways with Cristiano Ronaldo without paying any compensation. The Premier League club is planning to take such a measure in order to get rid of the hefty income that the Portuguese player, who is 37 years old, is currently receiving. Cristiano Ronaldo has a contract that runs until the summer of 2023 and pays him a weekly salary of 500,000 British pounds. Ronaldo's future at Manchester United has been decided and the club will not receive any compensation. From the beginning of the year when the Red, this decision was given the go-ahead by the Glazers, who own the Devils, taking into consideration the forward's wish to switch teams. On the market, however, there is absolutely no interest in the player. The only other choice that could be made was to make the connection to Saudi Arabia's side of the Al Hilong. Many fans of Manchester United are under the impression that Ronaldo's excellent performance at the 2022 World Cup will pique the interest of other organisations in his services. A loan option for a period of six months if someone is willing to pay at least a portion of Cristiano's salary beginning in January. Then this scenario is a real possibility. Lionel Messi and Luis Campos, a football advisor for Paris Saint-Germain, are now discussing his new contract in personal tax. According to reports, negotiations have been going on for a few weeks now, although they are still in the preliminary phases. It is yet unknown what Messi's plans are. After the conclusion of the World Cup in Qatar, the Argentine player, who is 35 years old, will give serious consideration to his future, despite the fact that he has been successful in Paris and is enjoying life in France. However, the likelihood of him staying in Paris and Germain is extremely strong given the current circumstances. According to journalist Dean Jones, Manchester City would be risking a lot by shaking things up if they were to make a move for Paris in the German striker Killian and Papa in the future. The Telegraph reports that Paris Saint-Germain does not plan to sell its star player, Starman, and that the club will only accept offers that are greater than £300 million. According to reports, Manchester City are one of the few clubs that would be in a position to afford the attacker if he were to go in the very near future. Please have a look at the latest film produced by our football club projects, folks. There we have Messi, Mbappe and other world football stars naming their favourites and who they would have a good time seeing in the 2022 World Cup. It was an article about football. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in a little while.